hello everyone so this is the nft minting dab which is deployed in aptos blockchain so i will show you a live demo that how i will mint an nft and show you the process let's just mint one nft by clicking in this mint button and the web3 wallet will be pop up here and we need to pay the uh, required num uh, amount of money for this nft yes it has been successful now you can just go to this web3 wallet and you can view the nft yes these are the nfts uh yes this one is the nft which we have minted just now these are all the properties description which you can see now you can set is as pfp or you can send it to your friend or family members so in this video i will show you how you can uh, create all your collection and mint this nft from this website uh, i am minting one more nft to show you the process okay just approve yes the nft has been minted okay great it is working so let me just show you all the steps properly so that you can understand and do this all the step by yourself okay i will provide the source code in the description so you can, so that you can download it so let me just close all the tabs great i will just hand over to the script folder okay great so the first step you need to just make sure that you have uh, went into the source code inside this source code which i will provide in the description you just download the source code and the first step you need to create the images of your nfts these are the uh, images and the last you need to create a cover image which will be displaying in the mending website okay this is the cover image and two nft which i will be minting in this tutorial then you need to create the metadata file uh, as i have created two nft so i will be creating the two metadata for that two nfts and the cover and for also for the cover nft i need to create in uh, json or you can say the metadata this is the format of the metadata of two nft which we will be minting in this tutorial you can check this all the information which i have provided in this uh, metadata the properties and the name description the seller basis point etc okay so after you create these images and metadata you need to get into the source code for deploying the candy machine and the website okay first we will deploy the candy machine by going to the script folder inside the script folder then again source folder then go to this config.json and here you need to add your pinata api key as well as the secret key where we will be uploading all our nfts let me just go to the pinata website as i've already created my account so i will just log into this website and if you haven't created then your account you just create an account and simply log in okay so now we just uh, let me close this click on this button then go to this api keys and here you need to uh, add this new keys then enable this button then you can enable all these buttons now just give it a name and just click on this create new key yes here it has generated your api key and the api secret now just copy this api key and paste in the config.json here you need to add the api key as well as the secret key just paste over here in the secret key section great so the next step will be uh, you don't have to uh, 
make a candy machine public key or the private key it will be automatically generated means it will automatically generate the this private key and the public key for you so keep it blank like this and then you need to add the part of your uh, nft images and the metadata just copy the path and paste in the path section you need to add the path of your nft images and the metadata like i in my case the nfts are in my images folder so i have added in at the end images and the metadata for the inside the metadata folder so i have added at the end metadata okay so the next will be the i will be writing the collection name let's say my collection name will be lion collection so i will be writing lion collection just great then i can write the description as for my nft collection yes okay so now you can just add all these things like the collection size how many nfts you have then the per mint maximum mint per person then the amount of NF, uh, price you need to pay the per user then the pre-sale mint time and the public key mint time you can get this uh, value from the uh, i will be adding all these values in the source code so so that you don't have to make any changes for the changes and if you want to uh, enable your pre-sale then you can add a create a file whitelist.txx txt and you can add this addresses all the addresses and the at the end you can add the number of nft he will be minting or she will be minting okay and you can add the directory as well as for the whitelist okay so now just go to our terminal and we will be deploying the candy machine but you need to know that you should have python install in your pc just go to this uh, script folder inside the script folder you need to type uh, go to the source then type python cli.py okay so now we will be choosing the candy machine look it has automatically generated our public key and the private key we just need to so, uh, wait for some couple of seconds and it will do all the steps you can see that uh, in aptos it is faster than the ethereum blockchain it is much faster all the processes are having in very faster way look all the steps have been completed in so quickly great so now we will just copy this uh, collection cover and add in the mint website source code so just copy this and get over in the mint site means mint website source code inside the uh, mint site go to the inside the mint site folder then helper then candy machine info.jss then you need to add in the collection cover url just add it great so now i will be changing the collection name which we have added in the config json file it is line collection okay so in the place of candy machine address we will be choosing the uh, our account address which is generated automatically this is the account address we will be pasting in the candy machine address just paste over here great so all the steps have been completed no need to change anything 
so just now go to this main site just open a new terminal and get over this directory by going to cd main site and you need to type npm install to install all the packages as i have already done so i won't do it again just type npm run dev to run the server and you can view your uh, website the minting website where we will be minting all our nfts just wait for some couple of seconds and it will be loaded in this localhost 3000 okay so as it is the pre-sale is running so we need to add the our address in the pre-sale so that we can mint our nfts during the pre-sale so let me just add the address in the whitelist address section okay so let me just go to this whitelist.txt file add our address and at the end you can add how many nft this user can mint yes we have added just uh, run this command python cli.py in this src directory okay the mint site has been loaded so let me just update the whitelist address so that i can mint in the pre-sale okay just choose this update whitelist for existing collection so that i can add my address and mint in the pre-sale great it has been updated so let me just now meet one nft to show you the demo let me just connect the wallet this web3 wallet and just click on this mint button to mint the nft yes yeah great so i will just approve this transaction great so, look so fast the transaction has been completed compared to metamax yeah these are the nfts which we have minted let me just see which I, nft i have minted just now no no not this one our collection is lion collection yeah this one lion collection great so we have, we have successfully minted our first nft these are all the information you can check it out let me just mint one more just approve this yeah it has been minted let me view the nft mm, which one we have minted just now let me check no not this one the first one. yeah this one line collection here all it is listed all the properties the collection name everything so this is the tutorial all about you can set up all your candy machine the minting site as well as deploy your candy machine using the source code it is very much easy just running all the cli commands and it will be automatically creating all the steps for you it is very simple steps just you need to replace some of the commands and some of the lines 
in the source code and it will be uh, easier to deploy this website as well as get the nfts and everything for you in much easier way so hope you like this video and till then you can just subscribe this channel and here i am one more thing you can just come over this website unixtimestamp.com where you can uh, get the timestamps or the date for the public sale as well as PSL. you can just copy this uh, unit time and paste over here and you can update the pre-sale or the public sale time by running this command python cli.py and choose the section uh, this one i will show you just now yeah here you can see update pre-sale mean time and public sale mean time so after you change the pre-sale mean time you can just come over here and choose the uh, one which you want, you want to update like if you want to update the pre-sale time then you can choose the pre-sale update mean time and if you want to choose the uh, public sale mean time then you can choose according to that okay and it will be up automatically update your time so hope you like this video till then bye bye